The Scorpio, Roman high-tech tool with enormous impact. That's gone straight through a millimeter of steel. Our first weapon is known as a Scorpio. It is a Roman ranged weapon. What makes it so special? The Romans call their bolt catapult Scorpio, probably because their form bears a similarity to the dangerous arachnids. A legion of 5,000 men carries up to 60 of these weapons. The Scorpio must have been really efficient to make it worth the cumbersome transportation. There are depictions of the Scorpio on the famous Trajan's column from 113 CE as well. We can easily see two large cylinders left and right from the arm's trajectory. Is this the secret behind its enormous impact? How does this weapon work? Why do Germanic warriors dread the Scorpio? Military historian Stephen Bull is fascinated by the Roman art of engineering. Today, he wants to conduct an experiment with a Scorpio built according to historical examples. One weapon, various ways of building it. They all have one thing in common. They have a firing channel for the bolt, a sinew, and throwing arms. Ideas that the Romans did not come up with themselves. When the Romans got hold of good ideas, they invariably improved them. And with the Scorpio, they take a Greek Hellenistic throwing engine and they turn it into a useful battlefield weapon. This isn't just a siege machine. This is now part of the way the Roman army fights battle as well as siege. So they make it lighter, they make it more portable, they make it easier to move, and they make it more effective by increasing the power and increasing the quality of the projectiles. It's just an all-round upgrade. How much impact does the Scorpio really have? And how precisely can you hit a target? Distance to target in the first experiment, 20 meters. Stephen Bull and his team prepare the Scorpio for firing. They push the adjustable sleigh forwards, pull the sinew into place, and push the sleigh back again. The last step is aiming the artillery at the target. So I'm ready with the bolt. And I'm ready to shoot. Not bad. It's on target. So this has been a pretty effective shot. It's actually gone all the way into a board, a couple of centimetres thick, and doubtless you can see the end of the arrow, the bolt, projecting on the other side of the board. A mobile artillery weapon. The Scorpio combines firing power and precision. Thin wooden pieces enables its relatively light construction. In order to transport it, the Romans disassemble the Scorpio into separate parts and put it back together where they want to use it. The Scorpio depended on the principle of torsion. Its levers were embedded in skeins of tightly twisted rope. When the trigger was released, that force was released, and the arrow shot forward with tremendous power. In ancient times, the torsion bundles are made of horse or human hair, or animal sinew braided into bundles. They store energy when twisted. The energy is transmitted directly to the projectile upon firing. Our Scorpio reconstruction has two of these tightly twisted ropes, housed in the typical bronze cylinders. One assistant has to re-tighten them regularly. In our reconstruction, they are made of synthetic fibers that are more weather-resistant than the animal sinew used by the Romans. In a final step, Stephen Bull inserts a pointed bolt which is 60 centimeters long. The Roman Empire had very few essential weapons. Uh, the Gladius is one of them, the Pelum, things like this. The Scorpio is one of the weapons that helps them to improve their performance, and we know that they use it in some very interesting places. Um, in Britain, it's used to capture some very large Iron Age fortresses on the Tolve Hills, so it's a very useful 
artillery piece to bring up for assault operations and to use in battle. But the Legionnaires are merciless, also when it comes to using the Scorpio. Caesar wrote, a goal before the gate of the town was pierced with a bolt from a Scorpio on the right side and fell dead. Another Gaul stepped over him to fight in his place. He got shot by an arrow from a Scorpio as well. Every legion deploys about 60 Scorpios. According to Caesar's accounts, they basically mowed down their enemies. Once aimed, the weapon is said to reliably hit the same target with every shot. Stephen Bull wants to find out if that is really possible. That way. That's it. Uh, that's our kick. Yeah. Looks good to me. Stephen Bull has his men aim the Scorpio. Fire at will. Will the next shots really hit the same spot? So we've got a couple of shots which are pretty close together here. That's reasonable. Maybe 45 centimetres, 50 centimetres away from the other side of the group. And we also had a couple of misses. For the ancient world, this is remarkably accurate. But what about penetrating power? Can the Scorpio bolts also pierce through armor and shields? What we have here is a one millimeter steel plate. We're not really going for accuracy. We're going for penetration. Let's see how it does. gone straight through a millimeter of steel. The heavy bolt head has focused the force on the point. It's not come all the way through the wood, but it's nailed the metal to the wood. If you'd been wearing this metal as armor, the result wouldn't be very pleasant. So we're gonna try and get the arrow out of the steel plate. I think it'll come given some effort. Oh. oh, yes. It appears to have gone maybe a centimetre and a half. So it's gone through the armour and then more than a centimetre behind. Quite a nasty injury. The Scorpio has passed this test, but can it perform even better? So we've succeeded in penetrating one millimetre of steel. Just to make life difficult for ourselves, we've added a second plate to make it two millimeters of steel. This is gonna be a serious test of penetration. Hit the target, bottom right. How deep did the bolt head go into the steel? Very deep, but certainly through both steel plates. So the first plates come off, and we can see the second plate underneath. The penetration through the second plate is obviously not as serious as the penetration through the first plate, but it's still gone all the way through. So this is the first hole all the way through the plate. And this is the second hole. Not so deep, but still all the way through. And I can feel the wood behind. Based on the archaeological excavations at the Hart's Horn, experts estimate that it was possible to fire deadly shots with a Scorpio over a distance of up to 500 meters. 
It is one of the most efficient ranged weapons of the ancient world. The Romans built the Scorpio for several centuries. It remains unclear when it